how to set up your controls for Sniper. You have to get this right if you want to snipe quick, fast, and effectively. I use a virtual pad. I keep my sensitivity towards the middle. You don't want a lot of sensitivity because you got to be very precise. On the left side, I keep zoom up top. I can scope in real quick with my pointer finger. Got my left thumb on the bottom to move around. Over on the right side, I can fire real quick on the trigger with my right thumb. I can reload real quick with pointer finger. So I'm using all four fingers at all times. What this means, if you're playing on an iPod or iPhone, I'm sorry, you're not going to be as good with Sniper. You just can't because you've just got big fat thumbs and you can't be as nimble and quick. Number one tip I can give you guys, use Spotter Gadget. Watch as I get this 14 streak. I'm able to go all the way across the map. I can't even hardly see these guys and I can successfully get headshots. Once you've been using Spotter a lot like I have, you'll know exactly where to position your crosshairs for headshots. You'll be able to plan as people are coming around the corner to position your crosshairs perfectly. So once they turn around that corner, automatic headshot. And you're going to see that over and over in my clips today. Sniper by far is my favorite weapon of the game. I'm hunkered down here. The wind's blowing through my hair. I'm listening to my bullet whistle through the canyon, echo through the ravines the sound of my clip reloading, there's nothing better. And I know what you guys are thinking, but Chase, I'm so good with blunderbuss, I can shoot people in the back of the head point blank. Forget it. Sniper takes the most skill, it's the hardest weapon to learn, and that's why I use it. Time for my next tip is on my way to my next 10 streak in headquarters, super hard map to snipe on. Watch as I get ready. Headshot. Headshot. Boom! These guys don't even know what hit them. And by the way, I'm playing with a bunch of level 30s right now. This is another great reason to use Spotter Gadget. You can see when people are coming around corners, you can prepare your crosshairs for them. Very important. The sniper will naturally aim towards the middle of the body. So when you're waiting for somebody to come around corner, you got to get your crosshairs up slightly. As they turn the corner, you're there to headshot them. There's another one. Prepare before anybody has ever turned the corner to headshot repeatedly. Here I am quick scoping this guy. Bye bye, buddy. 10 streak. My next tip, I've coined the pop out. You're sitting behind a wall, you pop out, headshot, pop, head, pop, bye bye, DEFCON. See you later. Watch this, it's gonna go fast. One, two, three, pop behind, reload, pop out. Four. Four headshots in ten seconds. Here I am popping out again towards the big camper. DEFCON. Bye-bye. Coming up on the ledge. Getting prepped for the next guy coming around the corner. Headshot. Just like I told you in the previous clip. DEFCON's going to come around the corner. Here's why you quick scope. I would not have been able to do that had I stayed scoped in. I'll talk more about that later. This next clip is awesome. I'm getting prepped behind the wall. I come out, pop! How's your no skill, point blank, one shot blunderbuss working for you now? Let me get you prepped for the next clip as I finish this one off. This next clip, this is how to prep before people are coming. Crosshairs out before people come up. Headshot, headshot. Again, crosshairs out. Headshot as he's coming around the corner. This guy's think he's coming this way. Don't think so, blunderbuss. There I was again, popping out at Sambo D. Another guy dependent on blunderbuss because he's got no skill. I'm telling you, if you can't handle a sniper with blunderbuss, you're playing the wrong game. Watch as I hunker down in this corner. Very important. Keep your backside protected when you're sniping. I've got a couple lucky shots against close range guns. Typically, you're going to lose those battles if you keep your backside and maybe your left or right side protected. That's going to give you a much higher chance of success. This next clip is a clip I want you guys to pay close attention to. Advanced technique called quick scoping. Scope in, fire, scope out. I'm doing it so fast, you can hardly even tell that I scoped in at all. Why does it work? If you stay scoped in and you're scrolling along the screen, you can't move as fast. Scoping out and back in allows it to reset. That's a perfect example. Watch this other example as DEFCON comes around the corner. 
I scope and fire, hit him once. I can't get him, he's moving fast. Scope out, it resets on his body. Let me take a second to tee up my next montage of me using bolt action sniper rifle as we gaze upon DEFCON's frozen body midair. I know most of you have the bolt action sniper rifle and probably not many have the anti-material sniper. As you've noticed, every clip I've had so far in this video has been anti-material sniper. Why? You can get off consecutive shots without bolt action reloading, also has better zoom. Same principles I've taught you applied it to the bolt action sniper rifle as well, although it is slower reload time. Enjoy the clip. It's a game with me playing against a bunch of guys last night in headquarters.